Hey everybody, I'm Miles, one of the pastors here at Shady Grove, and I have a few announcements for you and a midweek devotional. First, we would love it if you would be in prayer for our kids as they leave for kids camp next week. Also, we have a Young at Heart pizza supper that will be in the community center on August the 7th, and that will be at 5.30 p.m. All seniors are welcome to come. And as you're traveling this summer, don't forget that you can also join us online for worship every Sunday at 1030, either on Facebook or on YouTube. And also you can give online at ShadyGrove.net. Stay connected through the summer, even if you aren't able to be here in person. Now to our devotional. So back when I was in high school, there was uh, a certain class, a certain English class that I took that was very difficult and I ended up failing on one particular test in that class. And when I say I failed it, I failed it bad. Like there was more red ink on that paper. It looked like a crime scene. It was not good, but I beat myself up over it. The perfectionist in me was beating myself up over this. And that was the last D that I ever made. That quarter, I actually made a D because of that failed test. And I wasn't going to allow that to happen ever again. I wasn't going to allow my failure to define me, and neither should you. You know, when Jesus sent out the 12 disciples to to preach and to reach the communities in their area, he gave them some pretty clear instructions. And he told them, he said, you know, some people, some places you go, they'll listen to you, and some places won't. They won't listen to you. They won't like what you have to say. You'll win some, you'll lose some, You'll have victories in some places and you'll have failures in others. And when your message isn't received well, he said that you're to leave that place, beat the dust off your sandals and keep moving forward. See, Jesus wanted them to know that no one or nothing had the power to set them back or to define them or who they were other than their heavenly father. And the same is true for you. Each one of you is made in the image of God. He formed you, he created you, you are his masterpiece. He saw you as someone worth giving everything, including life for. And anyone or anything that thinks differently or less than that, anytime you're ever tempted to beat yourself up over your failures or puff yourself up over your successes even, and think higher of yourself than you should or think lower of yourself than you should. You or any voice like that is a liar. So failure or even success does not define you, but your heavenly father does. You know, John Maxwell in his book, Today Matters, talks about a sign that he used to keep on his desk and it, and it simply says, yesterday ended last night. Yesterday ended last night. You know what that means? That means yesterday ended last night. So that means the successes and the failures of yesterday, they're in the past, they're done, they're over with. And today is a new day. Today is a new day to make it right, to do even better, to correct the wrongs, to right those wrongs, whatever it is, yesterday ended last night. You know, you might've messed up, but there is no mess too big for God to clean up. And you are not a failure. See, failed tests, don't make you a failure, but staying stuck in them will. So keep going, keep moving forward, and live in the fullness of who you were created to be. Thanks so much for joining us today. Have a great week, and we will see you Sunday.